Hello everyone, Crystal Kladoff here for my Thursday tip of the week on how to draw some designs on Pisanki. I had a request for what we call a division of three. So that's the seg. And uh, th this pattern, but you can do it in a number of different ways. My goal here today is to show you how to do the division of three. And maybe it's a little better if we look at the bottom there, you can see one, two, three, and there's three ribbons. So we're going to do, do this, and I'll show you how I divide that up. Before I do that, we first have to talk about some math. Okay, math. Ooh, ick, right? Okay, that's just part of Pisanki, so you just got to deal with it. So I'm coming in, put your 3D glasses on really close with my template. A circle is... 360 degrees around. This template, I, I got this set of templates from the Ukrainian gift shop. You can see it says it up there. You can use uh, any template you want, but you want to make sure that it has not the just divisions for the, the 90 and the 45, but it also has the 60. So if you look at this very closely, you will see there's two spots that say 90, 60, and then there's, this says 60, 60, 60, and 60. And then there's 45s, and then there's two that just say 90. So when you're doing the division of 3, 3 goes into 360, 120. And then we're going to divide that in half, and that is the number 60. So we are going to make marks on our egg at all of the 60 marks. We will not, and I'm going to say that again, will not make any marks where it says just 90. We're going to use the 90, 60, 60, 60, 90, 60, 60, 60. So here is my practice egg. This is a really bumpy egg. Uh, so I'm going to draw the lines very darkly so you can see them on the camera. Again, uh, I would encourage you not to draw this darkly on your own egg. So, 90, 60, making a little mark. 60, making a little mark. Not there, but here where it says 60. And then 90, 60. 60 over here and 60 here. Okay, so all my marks, there are six marks on there. You just have to take my word for it, but there are six on there. Now I will do the uh, same thing. Here's the top of my egg. And I'm going to draw a line all the way around the egg. So there will be three lines going all the way around the egg. Um, the previous divisions, we just used two lines going all the way around the egg, but this one will have three. So here we go. Oops, kind of missed that, but that's okay. There's one line. And I'm going to do the next line. And it looks a little different from what you've drawn in the past because it's not, um, you, at first you think, oh, it's lopsided, but it's not because there's going to be three lines, not, not just two. So there's that one. And now I'm going to draw the last of the lines. So I've actually, what I've done now is I've actually divided the egg into six long sections. So you can see there, there's six. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, but I, I called it a division of three, I know. And I'll show you why I did uh, the lines like that. Now I want to draw my equator line around the center. Um, 
so we're going to mark and I, normally I would take a little more time marking this but for purposes of demonstration and not having a 30 minute video that you would get bored watching me make marks you get the idea and it's also a little awkward to do this and videotape myself at the same time okay so now I'm going to connect these okay and ooh, oh oh my goodness I about had a catastrophe there told you it was hard to do that okay so now I have this line going around the equator all right so to get the division of three we're gonna make a border and and yeah you'll see why I drew the six lines you could have just drawn three lines you could have done every other 60 degree um, but I like to have this center line because it's going to help me draw this part of the pattern. All right. So I'm going to pick one line, this line, and I'm going to make, um, we'll make a border that's about one centimeter wide. So, and it's going to go there and here. Okay, and I'm just doing this line from the top to the bottom of the egg. I am not going to go all the way around the egg with this, just this. So I drew a, a space one centimeter wide from the top to the bottom. Now I will skip this line and I'm going to do the same thing over here. So I'm going to make one centimeter, one centimeter, one centimeter, one centimeter. Okay. Now doing the same thing. This line that I'm drawing now should meet up with this line here. And the same on the bottom. And then here. And here. Okay, again, now I'm going to skip this line. And I'm going to draw my band here. And I did one centimeter, you could do two, you could do an inch, you could do whatever you want. You don't, don't have to do just the measurements I do, what you, but what you do want to do, and see how those matched, you want to do the same on all of them, obviously. Okay, so now we have an egg with three bands, one, two, and three. And then three sections with, with this cross, just in the center, the plain cross. And now you see why I wanted to do the six lines, because now I have lines to help me draw this. So uh, I would draw here, and here, and here, and here. And of course, you can do whatever you want. I mean, I'm just giving you some ideas here. Um, and then let me see how that one went. Okay, so there it was. So, um, I'll draw an eight-pointed star like this, like this, like this, 
but normally I would measure these a little bit. I would measure them a lot better than I'm doing here. And I'm putting an eight-pointed star. You could put a flower. You could put uh, a, just a, a, a cross. You, you put whatever you want. And then I'm going to use this line to, to help me draw that. Make that really big. Okay, and I have... My star and I have my band. Now in your band here, I, I just did some little curls and some lines. You could measure it and you could divide it and do uh, diamonds in there. You could put anything you want in the border. You could put a wavy line um, using that border as your, your guide. You could do whatever you want. Experiment around with it. Like I said, my goal today was to show you how to divide it into the three sections and then putting something in there. So I hope that helped. Now my color sequence on this one was I uh, used a white egg and then I used gold and then I used turquoise and the turquoise over the gold makes this green color and then I uh, put it in black. And this is uh, actually an ornament. It hang, uh, I glued a little finding on the top with some ribbon. Uh, so this is, is an ornament. You, that's the color combination that I used on that uh, for this. And if you want to know how I do those little wavy things, you have to know cursive because that's the only way I know how to do this. But I'm just going to draw it on here. Um, you draw a, a C, like small C. And if you want to space them out, you can divide the area. And then after you draw that, then you go back in and you, you fill in these areas here. And I'm doing it with a pencil. You're obviously going to do it with wax, but that's kind of how you make the C. I would say practice on a practice egg um, before you do it on your real egg. It takes a little bit of um, it takes a little bit to get the the curve action going right, and you know not every curve is exactly perfect. But, uh, that's just kind of how it works out. And again, if you wanted to, you could you could measure off the areas and then use that to help you space out your C. You know, you could do that also. Again, I would practice with that. So division of three, math again, only use the marks where there is a 60. Do not use these that just say 90. It will confuse you. You will have too many lines on your egg. You won't end up with a division of three. All right, thank you. And next week, I am going to do, uh, going to combine two things that we've learned. One is we're going to do the division of three. And then I'm also going to use the little um, suction cup washers. And we're going to do a swirl on an egg. So this is a division of three. There's three. See, there's three lines. And then I have these flowers on the, the curves. So this is next week's uh, division. For this week, practice division of three. There you go. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Uh, Crystal Putoff here. You can follow me on Facebook on uh, Pasanki by Chris. I'm also on Instagram under Prayerful Arts. And the uh, Pasanki by Chris is C-R-I-S. Thank you again for watching. Have a wonderful day.